sitting on the therapist's couch. It's actually just the couch in the living room, but I have the house all to myself. So I'm laying back on this couch, acting like I'm talking to a therapist. And that's you guys. Except you're not gonna talk back to me. Kind of like a real therapist that I've had. Hopefully you're not on your phone and texting somebody while I'm talking to you and then pretending like you're actually listening to what I'm saying and not giving me any kind of good advice at all. While you listen to me just figure out my own problems and tell you my own solutions and then you just shake your head and try to throw medicine at me. I don't think you guys would do that. So I'm sitting on this couch in a mood. I had a lot of good sleep last night. Mentally, I am exhausted. I'm just exhausted. Maybe it's because my whole family's been gone. I've been on my own for the most part, just kind of thinking a lot. And my mental state is a lot better. I've been telling you guys that. I'm not lying at all. I'm happy, I feel great. I still suffer from anxiety and depression. Depression right now, I'm doing fine with. I have little down moments throughout the day, but I'm learning how to build myself up or fight against it with positivity or reach out for support to help lift me up. So that's great. The anxiety part of it, that part mentally exhausts me a lot. And I wanna say trigger warning before I go more into it because I am gonna talk about anxiety and I am gonna talk about death right now. And the problem with that is a lot of people don't wanna talk about death especially. I've talked about it a few times, but I'd like to give a warning. My anxiety is fueled mostly by death. It is exhausting mentally and everything that I do, I'm like, I can die right now. I can die right now. I can die right now. Nobody wants to talk about the fact that we are really fragile bags of meat and blood and guts just walking around and just the wrong move. Just the wrong move. You just step in the wrong direction, you bump into the wrong thing, you fall down, you're dead. You're gone. Instantly. Gone. And that's just one of the infinite ways that you can die. And so I get it. People don't want to think about it. Guess what? I don't either. But my brain just does it anyway. All day long, I'm just like, I could die doing this. I could die doing that. When I'm driving and I stop at a stop sign, I'm like, I could die right now because there's so many shitty drivers out there. But right now I'm sitting here, I'm like, I could die from a heart attack because I'm so fat. Every night before I go to bed, I'm just filled with fear that I'm going to not wake up the next day. Because any of us could die in our sleep. But I'm highly overweight. I have sleep apnea. I could die in my sleep very easily. My chances are so high. And so every night I literally go to sleep in fear, holding on to my bed, like afraid to fall asleep. This is my last night on earth. Goodbye. And then I fall asleep. That is the shittiest way to sleep every night, but it's also a shitty way to live. I probably need to do some research on what I need to do to fix that. I've told people before and people are like, just don't think about that stuff. It's what I do. And I'm like, I can't do that. I can't not think about the fact that we're all gonna die. Like, if you're watching this right now, one day you're gonna die. Guess what? You don't know when that day is. It's gonna happen. We're all gonna fucking die. And how the fuck is everybody else on this planet not freaking out about that? If you're like me and you're freaking out about that and you have anxiety over it constantly, please tell me so I just feel like I'm not alone because I am literally always thinking about it. I'm not trying to be negative. I'm not trying to look at the darkness or whatever. I do see the positive in it sometimes. For instance, I have really dark thoughts that I can't help myself. Like I'm afraid my mom's gonna die because she's older, she smokes cigarettes, whatever. I'm afraid I'm gonna die all the time because I'm fat and unhealthy. I'm afraid my family's gonna die. So there's not really a point to this video except to vent because I haven't really clearly put this out there. Though maybe you're gonna think I'm even crazier. That's fine. <laughs> My whole point of making these videos is for me to vent, work things out, possibly give you guys advice on what I find helps me. It's not something I've really thought about as like a problem because it's just been who I've been. And I saw family members die at such a young age. I feel like I've been so intrigued with the fact that we're all gonna die and it's just such a definite and scary thing. And you might be like, oh, it's not that bad because I have religion or I know what happens when we die or nothing happens when we die. Whatever the case may be, I don't give a shit. Like even if I was the most confident person on what was gonna happen when I die, it's not even about that. It's just the fact that we're going to and it's gonna happen and it's scary and it's, I, I can't handle just like small change. So death is a huge change. And every time someone I love dies, it's, it's just such an emotional destroying soul breaking thing. Of course, it makes you stronger in certain ways and it makes it so you can enjoy life and realize that it's not gonna last forever. So try to enjoy every moment. I do see myself enjoying a lot of moments. In the background, there's the darkness of like, this is all gonna end. 
we're all gonna die. This fucking sucks. So I'm gonna figure out how to hopefully not think about it in that way so much. So maybe my anxiety wouldn't be so bad. And watching the Final Destination movie is probably not the best idea. So whatever journey you guys are on in this world, I'm right there freaking the fuck out because we're all gonna die. Much love.